and gentlemen, uh, we are going to do a short excerpt from our theatrical extravaganza, uh, Moby Dick. Oh, right, okay, so what do, we, how we, what do I do? So for this bit, you just wait in the wings. Beg your pardon? You just wait in the wings. All right, so, oh, so I, okay, so you let me know when you need my yeah, help. Yeah, I'll, I'll let you know when I need you. Right, I just wait in the wings. You just wait in the wings. I, okay, so, okay. You, and you, uh, so you'll let me know? Yeah, I'll let you okay. know, that's right. right. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, obviously Moby Dick is the classic tale of uh, Captain Ahab and his nemesis, the White Whale. So, uh, so where, whereabouts do you want me to wait in the wings? <laughs> just, just wait in the wings. Yeah, but whereabouts? Look, if you're in the wings, I don't care. Just so, wait in the wings. So just stand anywhere. Look, if you're in the wings, what difference does it make? So I don't care where I stand as long as I'm watching in the wings. Just wait in the wings. All right, well, I, so I can choose anywhere? I don't care where you stand. Well, I choose to stand here. <laughs> Get off stage, fuck brain. <laughs> well, if I'm, if I'm off stage, what's the point of even being in the wings? <laughs> So, ladies and gentlemen, obviously the, the, the story starts in the whaling port of Nantucket. Hey, I, I, know, I know a poem about Nantucket. <laughs> there was an old man from Nantucket who resented that his beloved hometown was renowned for bawdy limericks simply because of its rhyming potential. <laughs> I said stay off stage, dick brain, all right? There was an old man called Cole. Nice guy, possibly asshole. I think it'd be best to put it to the test by conducting a quick straw poll. No, Hands there's up. no straw poll! I thought it'd There's be... no straw poll, okay? We are going to, we're going to do a short excerpt... Oh, an excerpt. ...from Moby Dick, all okay, right? Just trying okay, to so we're you. going to do the opening scene of Moby Dick. Okay. All right, you ready? All right, yep. Okay. Call me Ishmael. Is it, that's, that's the first line? Yes, that's, that's the first line. Pretty weird first line. Call me Ishmael. What's your actual name? <laughs> Ishmael. No, you, they wouldn't, you wouldn't say call me Ishmael. It's like, it's like someone, that's like your nickname. It's like, what's your surname? It's not mentioned in the book. No, well, let's say it's Patterson, right? It's like somebody said, hello, Mr. Patterson. And then you've gone, call me Ishmael. No, 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 Isn't no. It? I mean, no, you don't just start no, with call just... me Ishmael is the most famous first line of any novel. Moby Dick by Herman Melville, America's greatest novelist. Well, I don't know who this Hillsville Melbourne character is, but call me Ishmael, that doesn't work. I think, hey, maybe I, I've got it. You've seen Ishmael on the other side of the street, and you're like, call me Ishmael. <laughs> it's 1852, they don't have phones. That's a carrier pigeon. <laughs> He'll answer soon, surely. Oh, it's for you. Fuck off! You've been doing this to me for 30 years. I constantly try and bring the importance and the and the beauty to theatre, and you just keep on stuffing it up. Well, I'm just trying to. I mean, and the audience, you know, they they want to listen to me tell a really sophisticated story, and they they love me, and they just tolerate you, and it's just really. That might be I the just case got to that point. Like, you know, speaking of straw polls, let's take a quick straw poll no, right now, okay? Hands up who thinks I'm the best. Oh, Cole, you've got quite a bit of family in tonight. <laughs> That's a nice. Hands up who thinks he's the best. Even though I know how that joke ends, it still hurts. <laughs> Thanks very much, have a great festival! <laughs> Go, exit right! Exit stage right! Exit stage right! <laughs>